is a state in the eastern highlands of India. It is a state of extremes, extreme temperatures and terrain, extreme politics and religion, extreme health and wealth. Imagine life without clean water on tap. Many villages in Orissa do not have access to clean water. Women and girls walk long distances to fetch water from rivers, streams or ponds. These are usually polluted and there is a great risk of drowning and injury to the women during the wet season. Each full water pot weighs 10 kilos, so the long-term consequences of carrying these on their heads and hips are back and neck problems. This polluted water is then used for cooking, drinking and bathing infants. It's not filtered or treated in any way. Gastroenteritis is one of the biggest killers in remote villages. There is no understanding of the need for clean water or of basic hygienic practices like hand washing to stop gastro. Irrigation of fields is limited by the amount of water that can be carried or diverted to a field. Jacob's Well is taking clean water into the remote villages where there is no water and no hope. Villages are transformed by clean water provided by either a bore well or water filtration plan and by the hygiene education given to all villages by our team. No longer do women and girls spend hours each day collecting water from the river, freeing them to work in the fields or the forests gathering products to sell at weekly markets. No longer do families have to drink muddy, polluted water. There is a reliable supply of clean, fresh drinking water on tap just outside the door. No longer do families have to suffer from gastroenteritis because they've learned that by simply washing their hands there is a dramatic reduction in gastro. There is water for home vegetable gardens, water to bathe children, water for drinking and cooking, clean, fresh water that is essential to life. Villages are transformed by water. In Orissa, less than 20% of children go to school. Remote villages rarely have a school building, and if they do, the teacher might attend only once or twice a month. Literacy in many villages is about 3%. UNESCO defines literacy as, and I quote, the ability to identify, understand, interpret, create, communicate, compute, and use printed and written materials associated with varying contexts. Literacy involves a continuum of learning in enabling individuals to achieve their goals, to develop their knowledge and potential, and to participate fully in their community and wider society." Unquote. Being illiterate means you can't understand government documents or medicine labels, and, lacking comprehension, you blindly follow what you're told. Being illiterate also means you're innumerate. Many can count to ten, but struggle to deal with middlemen buying crops or forest products. They have no understanding of the value of their products and are cheated and abused by unscrupulous traders. Village schools only teach to fifth class, but most children don't even make it that far. They drop out or are taken out by their parents by third class, and they're just the ones who get to go to school at all. Most families in remote villages don't have the money to buy notebooks and pencils that their children require for school. A six-year-old can work minding goats and cows, or look after a younger sibling, enabling mum to work in the fields or forest. Parents see no need for education when they're struggling to find food for tomorrow. Jacob's Well is taking education into the remote villages, where there is no education and no hope. In some villages where there are no schools, we have engaged tutors to provide basic literacy and numeracy skills to the children and adults. This extends to neighbouring villages. Our tutors are trained by senior educators to teach according to the state curriculum and they attend monthly skills development seminars. Rejoice Centre offers studies such as agriculture, horticulture, animal husbandry, poultry and fish farming, art, dance, music, pottery, tailoring and computing as well as the general school curriculum. Many children at Rejoice are winning prizes in the district school competitions. Children who would never have gone to school at all if they had not come to Rejoice. Our aim is to provide scholarships for these children, to go on to college and university or apprenticeships so that they are equipped to break the poverty cycle and to become leaders in their communities. Lives are empowered by education.
Imagine life without any hope for tomorrow. 43% of India's poorest people live in Orissa. Many of these are tribal people living in the hill country who often have to travel through thick forest and cross rivers to reach their nearest small town. Most don't own land and those that do might only own one hundredth of an acre. Many rely on collecting non-timber forest products to take them to weekly market for their livelihood. Jacob's Well is implementing sustainable initiatives in remote villages where there are no resources and no hope. We aim to assist the villagers by teaching them new agricultural skills, new crafts and water management techniques, introducing more profitable crops to sell and establishing a direct connection with the market to avoid middlemen. Rejoice Centre is and will continue to be a place of learning and a testing ground for various crops, produce, farming techniques and sustainability programs. Currently a variety of medicinal plants and fruit trees are being grown to establish which of these will be the most viable for village use. We're also researching different types of poultry and fish. Fish such as tilapia, chickens, ducks, quail and turkeys are being farmed for sale and consumption, some for eggs, some for meat, some for both. Cows, goats and sheep provide milk and income in villages. We undertake training from livestock inspectors and vets to assist in improving outcomes for village people. The children at Rejoice are learning these skills and will have the knowledge and ability to transform their communities and other remote villages in the state and beyond. Providing help, support and start-up loans empowers the desperately poor to fight poverty. Chicken and goat farming, seeds and tools for a market garden or a sewing machine and material are just some of the seed businesses that can provide an income. Sustainability liberates communities from poverty. Imagine life without health care. The infant mortality rate in Orissa is one of the highest in India. One in five children will die before their first birthday, many more before they turn 10. Malaria, gastroenteritis, polio, TB and malnutrition are all killers. Women frequently die from the complications of childbirth. Many do not have access to basic health care and medicines. By the time they realise how sick a person is and make the trip for help, it's often too late for treatment. Most don't have regular income, so they're unable to purchase medicines prescribed and are illiterate, so they don't understand the instructions given. Simple things like childproof caps are foreign to them and beyond their ability to open. Jacob's Well is taking health care into remote villages where there is sickness, disease and no hope. Our regional development officers teach basic hygiene and sanitation in every village they visit. Clean hands and clean water dramatically change the health of a community. We are working with local infant welfare and maternal health workers to provide birthing kits that among other things eliminate the risk of tetanus in newborn babies. A medical centre will address the primary health needs of not only the immediate community but many villages within a 20 kilometre radius. It will be a base for mobile medical units to serve villages throughout the district, house visiting medical teams and offer a variety of healthcare programs. Medical staff and village workers will be trained and equipped to educate the community on preventative healthcare, management of common ailments, nutrition and so on. In conjunction with this, a nursing college will provide opportunities and scholarships for people from all areas to gain qualifications in various levels of nursing, maternal and infant welfare, nutrition and related subjects. A medical centre will not only assist in improving the health of the community, but will also help lower the infant mortality rate, provide employment and, through education, ensure a better future for generations to come. A community health and resource centre provides a remote base for medical and educational programs, literacy and skills training, along with access to timely medical attention and general health care. Communities develop through infrastructure. To continue this work we need finance for our projects, sponsors for regional development officers and children, skilled people to share their expertise and strategic partners to share networks. Please join us and help make a difference. Our vision is justice and hope for the desperately poor throughout the world 
by virtue of improved health, knowledge and quality of life.